Okay, can I do this without dropping it? <laughs> I hope so. So this is a Renault Magnum truck and a Coca-Cola trailer. The trailer is new, built from the ground up, but with the same idea as the Bolt Coke trailer that I built 11 years ago now, I think. Of course, it has a Coca-Cola Santa logo and also the brand logo. It has glow in the dark border all around it, and it's not done yet. So the trailer here, I'm not satisfied with the lifting and opening mechanism in the back. It's motorized, but I don't think it really works as I would like it to work. So that would be improved and then I can make a separate video for that. For this video, I'm just going to talk about the new Renault Magnum truck. This one you see here is a power functions control truck, which means that it just has this good old power functions receiver. You can see it here in the top that it's sticking out a bit. And I can drive it around with steering and the truck. And you can see when I'm driving, the, the light also comes on. The other lights are always on and that's because one of the lights is connected directly to the battery box and the other one is connected to the receiver. If you want to build your own, well, that's good because there are building instructions for it. They are free as always and they are available in the description below. And you can choose your own color. You can see I have built it in red. You can build it in white, black, Gray. I believe those colors should be available with the parts that this truck is using. It is using some fairly new parts that are not that easy to come by, but I'm sure you can figure it out if there's any parts that are a bit difficult to get. Apart from that, pretty much everything is like when I presented the uh, previous Renault Magnum. You can see they're extremely similar. They are a bit different with the headlights because I wanted to make sure that the headlights or the lights from power functions work in this new version of it. And of course the receiver is now no longer a PFX brick because that is a bit difficult to come by. But really if you have a PFX brick then I definitely recommend using that because it's really cool that you can do sounds and you can do light programming stuff like that. So the old one is a bit more advanced, but because this new one has a power functions receiver, it is a bit more accessible. Many more people have such a power functions receiver than people who have the PFX brake. As you can see, I made some slight changes to the front fascia, so the lights are a bit different. That is in order to accommodate the power functions lights. It has a uh, light brick in the cabin and one here in the top, so that's where I'm hiding those. And the truck works perfectly fine. You can see I can drive around with it. It can pick up the trailer. It can put down the trailer again. And even if it misses the trailer so the legs are up and the trailer is off, it can still push the trailer back on top. So everything works perfectly fine. And it's fun to play with. It's fairly robust. It has a lot of parts, so it's fairly detailed. And that is just what you want to have in a model team truck. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the truck in action and also what the trailer can do. And if you want to see the video when the trailer gets finished and I have the lifting mechanism fine-tuned so that I think it's worthy of a video for itself, then remember to be subscribed, have notifications enabled, and even tell me in the comments below. Until next time, have fun, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.